All right, morning, folks. Looks like kind of a slow morning this morning. Um, but we got, uh, of course, Rune and Dana. Good morning. Thank you all for getting the lights. And Alan Corson, good morning. Night Owl, good morning. Happy Saturday to everybody. Happy Easter weekend to everybody. If you celebrate Easter, um, glad to have you all here. I, uh, I'm glad I looked over at the chat because... Um, I got carried away setting stuff up. So, Dana, you were asking about how to decode these. Uh, this is the American Lock version, and I've got a bunch of Master Lock versions, and I couldn't find the one that I really, really wanted to look at. Um, so I, <laughs> it was a, uh, cutaway, um, and so I got carried away trying to make a cutaway. We're gonna finish this, um, as long as my drill bits hold out. Uh, let's see, Brian Field, Jay, good morning. Chocolate pudding bunny peeps. <laughs> G Key Man, good morning. Secure Tech, good morning. All right, yeah, so I don't know about y'all, but it's been a long week. Um, well, not that it's been a long week. It's just like the days drug by, but the week flew by. One of those weird weeks. Um, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad it's the weekend. It'll be over before we know it. Um, let's see. A um, couple, let's see, well, just one announcement, really, that I can think of. Um in May, um, Memorial Day weekend, I will not be live. I'm actually uh, going to go out of town on on pleasure for the first time in, God, years that I've had a vacation. Uh, <laughs> Dana, awesome. Yeah, we'll figure this out. I haven't figured out how to decode the American lock uh, combo locks, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'll be I'll be out uh, that weekend, um, but that's that's a ways off. That's all, over a month off. Um, let's see here, Anthony. Good morning, Hop Skippity. Happy Saturday, LPG. Glad you're listening. Got a car driving around. Awesome, cool. Again, I hope everybody's had a great week. Uh, so we're going to kind of get to this because I actually have to try to wrap up somewhat on time today. Um, I've got a guy coming to uh, do warranty work on the brand new television. I think I told you all before, the TV that I bought back right before Christmas uh, went out in February. I'd had it right about two months and it went out. And after a lot of back and forth and a lot of downtime, they sent me a replacement. I got the replacement the day after we got back from Houston, which is a Monday. Set it up, plugged it up, watched it, worked great. Tuesday, nothing. Brand new out of the box. So they, uh, they're going through their warranty process. Um, just kind of aggravating. But... The guy is the same guy coming back out to look at this one as did the other one, so he's a pretty cool guy. Um, but I need to set up the bench because I just bring the TV out here instead of having the cats stressed out about somebody else being inside the house. Um, let's see here. All right, let's get moved over here. Um, what I was going to do originally for one of these padlocks and if you've not played with these it's actually kind of kind of fun um you just put some tension on the shackle and turn until you feel a release sort of feeling that one didn't i don't get much feeling out of that um but you kind of get a click And 
and a release feeling maybe sometimes there we go there's that and you just have to know the dialing of it you know how many turns each way do you go um i was actually getting pretty good at it once upon a time try this one that's real flimsy and I want the cutaway there you go just like that um, I want the cutaway to show you how that mechanism works so you can sort of see what you're feeling um, but I've, I was sort of off with um, my drill points on the back of this so we're gonna take another one I've got a whole bag um, over here, it's all kinds of them, and we're we're gonna we're gonna put a few on the chopping block today. Ah, here it is. Here it is, right here. Um, all right, let me bring the camera around. Um, but what I was actually gonna try to do is um just use the Dremel and cut the back off, but. Unfortunately, that didn't really happen. Let's get zoomed in here. There we go. Um, what piece of equipment was I referring to? Um, hop skippity, I'm lost. Referring to when. All right. So let's get, let's get all nice and zoomed in here. There we go. So you can see, there's one of the wheels. You can see both the wheels moving. And, you know, what you would do is, if you had it cut out like this, you would just watch and look for the gate to line up or you can feel because if you pull up you can see the locking lug right down here and so you turn and Kind of maybe get a feel for it. Because then the once you've got the first wheel in the lug. See, let's get everything turning. Okay. So it's the back wheel that turns first. And then the middle wheel. Sorry, trying to keep it in frame here. And then the front wheel. So I've got them all kind of lined up. But you want it up here on the fence. My bad. I told you it's been a while. And just keep pressure on that. Because you're pulling the locking lug down. And there's the second wheel. There. Sorry, that was way out of frame. Um, 
<laughs> school kids for life. <laughs> Actually, um, all of these logs were sent to me uh, a few years ago. Uh, Chris Aarons, who used to do a lot of uh, picking videos and picked a lot of high security locks, um, he just kind of got out of it, lost interest, I guess, and sent me a huge box of locks. Um, and Jay, actually, when I worked as a school resource officer, um, and kids would get locked out of their lockers, and we we had them with the bypass key for the back, like you do in most schools. Uh, this isn't one of those, but this is an Abus one. Um, but you can see the little lock cylinder to override it. And uh, but anyway, if I didn't like if. If the padlock didn't match up with one of the keys that I had um, or that the custodians had, then um, I would just take it, put a little bit of pressure on there and then actually take my baton, my collapsible baton, and wrap it really sharp on top to kind of bounce it. And uh, it would open most of the time then. So that was a... Uh... Yeah, not a... Uh... I uh, lined them up in the wrong spot. Oh, hop skippity. Um, that was my uh, television um, that I bought back in back at Christmas and got the replacement, and the replacement broke after a day. Hey, James. Nate Godden, good morning. Let's see... Yeah, yeah, I know. It helps to get the gates in the right spot. Um, but then these also have the thing where, uh, the feature where if you, or once you get it open, it will scramble the wheels so that you can't just accidentally leave it unlocked, which I guess is kind of cool. Okay. There are other people who do a much better job of explaining this than me. But I get everything. And there are little like teeth. Kind of back dial it a little bit. Like that. Um there are little teeth on that front wheel that will kind of catch and um, kind of give you a, like a false gate almost. Um, try to screw you up from feeling that. Doesn't really work a whole lot. But Dana has the American Lock version, and I've never drilled one of these before, um, or never decoded one, I should say. Let me, all right, let me actually use my code software here. Let's see. No, not right now. Let's put in this code that's on the back here and see if it will give us a combination for it. So it's one, five, eight, nine, three, three, A. And no, it's not showing up. So, um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Nido, that's what I just tried was Instacode. Um, 158933A. Um, I don't know if you need the... Well, there's an 80 right below it. Let me try that. 80. And then we'll try to do search. Nope, nothing. Okay. Um, well, we're going to tear stuff apart anyway. So, sorry to keep moving you guys around. 
Um, actually, we'll bring you back around this way. Y'all moving all over the shop today. There we go. Looks good about there. So let's take this American lock and I'm going to assume, we all know what that stands for, I'm going to assume that the fence is going to be in approximately the same position. Um, let's see, you want back off that American, there's a small notch cut out at the very top. You can get to with a small screwdriver pushed under the rolled edge, then pry back. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's take a small screwdriver and we'll turn it this way just so I can get at it better just kind of get under the rolled edge you say and let me get the tapping hammer that ain't gonna hold Really don't want to do it by the dial, but that'll give me I wonder if I were to drill this tiny hole right there. Let's see. Nothing in G code, codes online, or Instacode. Okay, cool. Um, don't egg it in the vise, yeah. Go under the edge, then flip the screwdriver. Okay. Let's see if we can go. Okay, I see. You want to go this way. I see now. Okay, cool. I see that little notch now. It's right there where the tip of the screwdriver is. Let's get over here just a little bit too. That was close to a stab myself moment. Right. Now, let's try a bigger screwdriver and see if I can't walk it around. go
Pop goes the weasel. Cool. All right. Let's see, nothing in code source either. Wear a, a wear a chisel screwdriver. Yeah, that would be cool. Hey Ronald, taking apart a uh, combo lock. Let's see, so covert entry decoding. <laughs> Used to have the combo stamped on the second plate. Yeah, I don't see it on here. Um. Now, I'm wondering how peened in this back plate is. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it holds some stuff in there, but I can get... Take a little light. Look in there to see where it is. I see the see the fence. So I want to mark where I'm gonna drill if I can find my marker. If not, we'll eyeball it. Um let me make sure. No spider bit, that's for sure. spider bit. Let's see if I can't get a bigger window anyway. hard. I wonder if I can get it in here without crushing it and still hold it tight enough. If I could have found my Dremel cutoff wheel um, arbor, I would have used that.
trick is going to be getting through without destroying everything. I kind of wish I had an end mill bit. I'm worried that I'm actually just drilling through the fence, which I don't want to do that. Wonder if I can get it popped off. Um, let's see. Yeah, Brian, if I had the um, uh, if I had the arbor for my Dremel, if I could have found that this morning, I would have done that. I know the plate's not very thick, but it's pretty daggone hard. Let's see if I can't just pop it up. Um, actually, I'm going to do a, like y'all said earlier, do a can opener. Lighter tip on it. And of course, if I had a better drill bit, which by the way, speaking of the spider drill bit, I uh, finally burned it out the other day. Had to drill two alloy disc detainer cores. Um, so that's the one pick that I don't have. Well, that and like a fancy lever lock pick. Getting there. Not too bad. Um, let's see. So there, we've got the inner workings. Um, wow, that fence is really, really thick. I'm gonna take this spring out, set it over here, and actually move you guys once again. Sorry about that. But I think we'll all be able to see a little bit better if we get back over here. Uh, can I bring in, bring in this way again? Y'all didn't know you were getting a 360 view of the shop today, did you? And 
there we go. So this spring was sitting just right on top here, um, which against this back plate, as you can see, that's actually a decent sized thickness, but it's hard as crap too. Um, all right, so let's, let's see, we've got the spring here that holds onto the fence and the fence is really, really, um, really thick actually. And you can see where I was starting to drill into it. Um, let's get the wheels aligned. Stay in camera here. Okay, this one does have false gates too. On that first wheel. But we'll just get it aligned for the show. I think it needs pressure on it to Unless if I'm dialing it wrong. These do go right, left, right. Correct? Because I'm not getting anything like that out of this. Well, I guess we can dissect this down further. Pull that out, pull our wheel out, our, our, yeah, our wheel. And we've got another spacer. Okay, think, I don't know if I've got a stuck fly or what. No, it's grabbing, okay. Let me set this back in here. And put that back on to help center it. And where'd that spring go? Holding that spring right against there. To see if that helps, but I think I'm just stuck in there. Um, Side. Okay, there's all of them turning now. That one's just getting hung on my finger. Suppose, in theory, just that yellow ring is supposed to stay still. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. So I can actually see um, what is it I can actually see. All right, let's. There went our uh, locking stop. Let's get this torn apart. 
so we can see exactly what's going on in there. I don't have my tweezers out, but these will have to do. Didn't need that. Okay. All right, so there's the actual locking lug, which would go in right there. The spring was behind it. So this one, that spring would go in there like that. And then that lug sits on top of it so it springs out into the locking pole of the shackle. And this sits right there, which prevents the shackle from being pulled up because it hits on the wheels, I believe. Let's see, it sits in there like that. Then you get your wheel pack. Okay. There you can see, I don't know if this helps you, Dana, but you can see there the... The big notch, of course, is going to be your true gate. And I believe these turn, this is going to be your last number, the one closest to the dial, because it's opposite of uh, what a safe lock would be. So, <clears throat> which, like, in the safe locks I've looked at before, the wheel that's farthest towards the back, farthest away from the person dialing, that's actually the first wheel that moves. Um... Or no, excuse me, other way around, reverse that. Third wheel back is the last wheel to move. Closest wheel is the first one to move. So reverse it for this. Um, right? Am I thinking right? Or have I just gone backwards? So there, you, at least you can see, you know, you've got shallow shallow cuts right there that are going to give you that little dunk, dunk, dunk feel. Whereas that should give you more, but feeling it through your wheel pack, I don't know. Let's see where, and there's the, there's the fly right there, which helps catch the other wheels and turn them. Put that in our spacer, and then our next wheel. So these two wheels seem to be moving fairly well. You can see here I just got just got it held, and I can just rotate the wheels like that. The fly will catch and turn, and move back. So I don't understand. Maybe, maybe I got something caught in there. Because when you rotate it, of course, your first wheel should stay put where you want it to, but this one grabs on. A little spacer, and then again, where'd that other spring go? Um, hmm. Well, anyway, that would... Hold that there. Okay, now that's picking up. Okay, so first wheel to move is the back wheel. That scrambles it. I wonder if I scrambled it somehow, taking it apart. No. 
now because that's picking up and catching. Let's see, let's try and go in right. Then left. Yeah, that. Yeah, now all the gates are aligned, but I had to reach back and hold that. So I wonder if that's something just for this particular lock or if it's something for all American locks. I don't know, because I don't know that much about combination padlocks, honestly. So let's put this back in here. So, and then that's a little plate there to so, you know, that would go like this. That's the plate to keep it in this groove right here to limit the travel so you don't just yank up on it all the way. Spring rolled under the screwdriver. Ah, oh, so it did. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. You win a thousand points today. And the points are redeemable, uh, just like the whose line is it anyway points. But thank you. Okay. It's already getting out of frame, guys. Really need my tweezers. We're going to try to do it the hard way. spring in there okay see so once all the gates lined up it looks like being a good cameraman today. There we go. Okay. And then... Put that on there. And just put... Light pressure against this spring. Just holding it in place. See, even just with light pressure though. Still binds up. Fonzie! Good morning. Yeah, we're in the, uh, the one fixed to the dials. Last one is it. Yeah. Um, Legless Sock Picker, good morning. Jason, what's up? Actually, getting ready to wind it up here in just a minute or two because. Got the uh, TV repair guy coming today. So 
So Dana, I have no clue as to if this will help you decode your American lock padlock. As you can see there, the action when the gates are aligned, it pulls up. And then this little plate, that's right, I forgot. This little plate on here actually scrambles the wheels as you pull the shackle up. So that's what keeps you from leaving it unlocked. There we go. That's what that's for. So just delicately hold that there. And maybe even get this back on there. I doubt it. I doubt that very much. Thank you. Um, came out. Get back down here. So, well, spring just came out again. Um, so yeah, anybody uh, have any suggestions for Dana as to how this can be decoded? Um, I've not came up with any. <laughs> we know what it looks like on the inside though, how it all goes together, which is half the battle sometimes. Um, Let's see. Today's episode of What's Inside. <laughs> um, let's see. In today's episode, we tore some shit up. Yep, that's every day. You're not doing your job as a locksmith unless you tear stuff up, you know? And I hate how this little spotlight on top of the camera just gets dimmer and dimmer, even with it plugged up. Kind of like my ex, just keep getting dimmer and dimmer. Good as new, nobody. <laughs> Smack it with a hammer. Yeah, that'll open it. Um, I mean, I'll show you all that trick. It's been around forever. It's not a trade secret, it's just a really good reason to not use master lock combination padlocks on anything that's really important. That's all you do. Oh, I ain't gonna let me get let me get some real grip on it here. Just by the shackle. Oh shit, I don't feel like that. Seasick. <laughs> Put your safety goggles on, yeah. Nope, that did not open it.
Maybe I need to make a robot to do this. It's coming. There. Slightly used, no combination. 50 cents at the yard sale. But I'll take up to 40 for it. Give y'all another 360 tour. Hope none of y'all are watching on VR goggles. There we go. Alright. Alrighty, guys. It's time to start winding it up because unfortunately I've got other shit I really need to do today. Um, Dana, I hope this helped at least a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and now I know why there's no decoding videos for American combination lock. Yep. Gotta hit the arm of the vise with your mallet a couple times. Yeah. It's tough under fire. <laughs> Security rating 8. Use a real hammer. <laughs> eh, you know, I like the dead blow. Actually, I used that yesterday. Um, if y'all, uh, I don't know if any of y'all out there have ever installed Dexter hold open closers, but if you ever have to install a Dexter hold open closer, take the cute little wrench that they send with it, and before you do anything, like if you could do this before you even open the box, I would tell you to do it before you open the box. Fortunately, you have to open the box to get to it, but when you open the box for the Dexter hold open closer, the first thing you want to do is grab the arm and take the wrench and loosen the hold open nut. I mean, get it good and loose. Not to where it's falling apart, but get it loose. Because if you don't, and your door binds it up, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get it loosened while it's on the door frame. Just saying. I might have heard a tip about that yesterday when I was doing two of them by myself. So, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just keep that in mind if you're ever doing Dexter Hold Open Closers. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, local pickup only. You get used to open. Yeah, open-ended wrenches and pliers, you can open it. <laughs> Dana, I, I'm not the greatest at them. Uh, I actually took like most of these and sat down one day um, just inside watching television and just played with them till I got them opened. Didn't even write down the combinations or anything or really pay attention to what I was doing. It just happened. So, but you know, when you see what's going on inside, maybe that gives you a little bit better idea of how to determine what it is you're feeling um, when you try to decode your lock. Maybe, ish, kinda. So anyway, folks, all right, time to wind up. Uh, I got a clean splinter off, take the vise off, vacuum up everything. And uh, anyway, just get, get shit put together for lack of a better term. Um, and uh, that way, hopefully, this brand new television that has about, I don't know, six hours of watch time on it, hopefully it will be fixed, repaired, or replaced after today. At this point, I'm ready for them just to give me my money. and Or, or I would actually settle for them to give me either one of their higher end models or a uh, size that is equal to, but not less than the size that I have. 58 inch is pretty good size actually. So 
anyway, got to do all that stuff. So, y'all have a great weekend. Um, let's see, I think the half stick in the century safe. Yeah, actually, I was watching that MythBusters episode the other night on on the old television that's got the lines running through it. So I couldn't really see what type of safe it is, but I think it's the same type of safe that uh, this lady's called and asked us to. Uh, get some information on if we can open it or not for so doing research on that but jay i'll send you pictures of that one but anyway one of these century safes if i could uh if i still had the connections i used to with bomb disposal personnel i would make a video of that all right y'all have a great weekend again happy easter if you're celebrating happy passover Orthodox Easter is next weekend. Um, not sure what else is going on holiday-wise, observance-wise. But anyway, please be safe this weekend. People started drinking Friday morning, and they won't stop until Sunday night. So just, just be careful out there on the roads. Um, I'm not planning on going anywhere. So anyway, have a great one, y'all. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay out of trouble. We'll see you next time.